My name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and rather than bore you with an ultra-long hour-and-a-half show, which I've never done, thankfully, on how to enable SLI and NVIDIA's surround feature, I'm going to make this as painless as possible. So first of all, all of the settings we're going to be looking for can be found in the control panel, but if you don't feel like mining through your computer, right-click the desktop and select NVIDIA control panel. Unlike the GeForce Experience menu, this is where all of the heavy lifting is done for NVIDIA. When you have SLI enabled graphics cards connected to each other with an SLI bridge or cable, and you have multiple computer monitors connected to your computer, the only way to take advantage of SLI and surround is to actually go through this menu to turn it on. The correct menu is under 3D settings and depending on various different possibilities, you'll have SLI, surround, and physics shown as the third option under 3D settings. If you only have physics present, you don't have more than one graphics card, and you definitely don't have more than one screen. So this episode is not for those people. However, if you have more than one computer screen and you want to take advantage of your brand new SLI setup and you haven't turned it on yet, you will go into the 3D settings under the Sly Surround Physics, the third option, and you will be presented with 3D Performance, which is for SLI only, no surround feature turned on, and will give you better frame rate as well as texture previews and whatever that you wanted in the first place because you got yourself more than one graphics cards in order to get away with a lot better gameplay. If you want to take advantage of NVIDIA Surround, whether or not it's being pushed by SLI, you will click the Surround option, but you'll also click on Configure. Keep in mind, NVIDIA, regardless of whatever, whatever application is running, even if it's Word, will tell you to turn them off. So you will have to turn those options off. So don't forget to bookmark this page. And of course, email me at ask.tqaweekly.com or just tweet me at Z-E-D-A-X-I-S if you have a problem, which you shouldn't. Now, besides just turning on 3D performance, which will automatically turn on SLI with its, all its power in one shot with no complication, NVIDIA Surround will require a little bit of explanation. So first of all, most gameplay is horizontal. So this means that if you have two screens, I definitely suggest that you select the one by two. If you have three screens, the one by three. I tell you right now, I'm going to tell you that it's better to have three screens than two because with the exception of one game that I've played, Baron of Paradise, the majority of games play entirely in the middle. So because of that, having a third screen will put the cursor in the middle of the central screen. Also, you will see numbers on your screens, so correctly align them in the little picture that you're going to see off to the side of me and make sure that they are correctly being portrayed up there so that you'll have the best gameplay possible. You don't want something in the wrong place anyway and having to turn it off and get confused about where you're going. Yes, you will see menus off to the right. Yes, you will see menus completely off to the left. Some in the menu, middle, and you will see that there will be a lot of space between a whole bunch of stuff and you might have to change the focal length of your games in order to benefit from this. But if you're that kind of person who wants to have ultra wide experience, then that's the setup that I suggest that you have. Go with three screens, you'll have a better experience than two, but this is the same instruction set for two as it is for three. So select one by two or one by three, you will see the resolution and the hertz frequency of the screens show up automatically and all you have to do is click apply and it will apply. Yes, there are little bizarre things that happen with Skype and overlays for video. Yes, you will have weird things happening in Windows where specific information is completely off to the right or to the left. It's entirely normal. This is what happens when you're using an SLI surround setup. Windows thinks you have one screen. So just keep that in mind. And it's the same menu to turn it on and off. A few key points that you need to keep in mind is if you install brand new drivers for NVIDIA, your settings will revert to zero under various conditions, just like it did for me while I was doing this specific write-up of this episode, my SLI got turned off at the same time. So it is normal that your SLI turns off once in a while. You will have to go to NVIDIA control panel, but at least you know how to do it now. 
So like this, like, share this episode with those that you think can benefit from this. If you have any suggestions for topics, your own questions, email me at askadtqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com. And actually go under the subscribe option for other ways of subscribing to this show and to me at the same time. And this is the same website that you can interact with others as well. And of course, if you want to help power my show, you can go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly. From the funds I just got last month, I ordered a brand new green screen and a mount for it. And next month, I'm looking to get myself the lightings to upgrade the set. So if you want to help me make this set and show better, that's the place to go. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. Have a great day and goodbye.